very good morning to all the students of class 9th d uh by board uh, i guess on screen i can see the board it's quite clear beta uh please check your network on the other side so uh beta we are going to continue with descriptive paragraph only because we have started that day we have done descriptive paragraph of person okay and i gave you homework also suppose i guess you have done this so please start sending your notebooks also those who have not sent now we are going to start with uh students please now stop texting i'm going to disable the chat box also as a lot of students are you know creating the distraction so nobody will be able to text now please so uh descriptive paragraph of place we have done person in person we have done the you can say uh, the relation with that person the physical description the personality description personality traits and so many things fine so and in this beta when we describe a place first of all we introduce the place with adding two three adjectives or minimum one adjective should be there okay like uh, what is adjective by telling the quality of that place fine uh, uh, like you can start with the that also and you can just simply start by telling the where it is located fine foothills of himalayas in that way uh, you can say snow covered snow clad mountains so you need to add adjectives into the beginning line fine so introduce the place with adding two three adjectives please note down the value points i can ask you to check your no notebooks you will switch on the cameras and you will show me your notebooks also okay so please keep on noting down then we have a speciality of place what is the speciality of this place uh that we should tell in that des describing a place the nearest landmark also like suppose it is uh, situated near the uh, airport it is situated near the railway station near the bus stand near some other landmark you can give okay so then we have oh, oh, also you can tell that sorry i missed one point that you can say kilometers or you can say from railway station and all distance from one point please uh, and just mention distance from railway station or bus stand etc distance from railway station bus stand or airport etc one you have to choose okay not all do not write all the uh, distances ki uh, distance from railway station is this much from bus stand this much and you need to choose one out of all okay so that one more point you have added up clear so you need to tell speciality of the place fine then uh, you can tell about distance from the railway station or airport or bus stand then after that nearest landmark then special attractions of that place why that place is so famous okay then facilities provided to the travelers over there fine uh, you can say visitors over there okay then conclude conclude by again uh, you can say uh, telling about any speciality or uh, praising that place or uh, you visited over there if it was a wonderful visit in that way you can conclude also okay so describing a place firstly you can also mention that how did you get a chance to visit over there but do not use you know personal pronoun too much into descriptive paragraph you can describe once or a while like uh, recently i got an opportunity to visit uh, shrinagar on my last birthday yeah on my this birthday fine then you start describing the place that also is okay but do not keep no i did this i because this is not personal narrative okay so you can use this that shrinagar is known for this and uh, dal lake is known for this fine whatever place we are going to describe clear you visited it can be any and a place does not mean excuse me place uh, does not mean any you can say a particular different state or city all the time it can be a park also nearby park of your house it can be uh, any uh, event uh, was organized you visited over there or it can be any place also you visit some other country 
during the summer vacation in the winter break you went somewhere in other state you visited any uh, you can say historical monument so it can be any place do not think that describing a place will always be when we go to visit somewhere out, uh, outside our city okay so it can be any place it can be even the library of your own school fine that uh, you visited your you visit your library quite oftenly describe this place also so it can be canteen of your school also fine do not limit yourself to few places only is that clear keep me sending your feedback jaldi se is it clear that what sort of places we need to describe jaldi se send me your feedback so that i can see yes very good so we will do one example write down uh two things are there beta in which you dis you, you just visited a place i told you park library in which there is open uh, you can say source of information whatever you write second is guided one in which points are given to you because every child has not visited kashmir every child has not visited chandigarh every child has not gone to delhi or any other uh, you can say place fine so in that case you will get points fine in that case you will get points and you will develop upon those points but in case it is library it is some park area it is some mall or theater or railway station or bus stand or airport then you can develop on your own okay so when general places are coming you need to develop on your own when particular place is coming then you will be getting points fine so let's do uh, write down the statement beta uh this is the question yes shrinagar let's do dal lake only uh, shrinagar with its dal lake write down the statement shrinagar with its dal lake comma the snow clad mountain peaks the snow clad mountain peaks and the shalimar garden and the shalimar s h a l i m a r and the shalimar garden is nothing but a paradise on the earth i repeat shrinagar with its dal lake comma the snow clad mountain peaks and the shalimar garden is nothing but a paradise on earth you visited this beautiful city some time back you visited this beautiful city some time back write an account in the form of descriptive paragraph write an account in the form of descriptive paragraph okay so uh, in this beta hints likh lijiye hints are given in the statement also make sure clear write down scenic beauty some value points i'm giving you you will develop uh, upon that scenic beauty s c e n i c scenic beauty fine snow clad mountains that is mentioned in your statement itself snow clad c l a d snow clad mountains beautiful lakes beautiful lakes famous for dry fruits famous for dry fruits no train facility at kashmir no train facility at kashmir then next is numerous hotels numerous hotels hub for tourists hub for tourists the next last one is uh you can also mention house boats of dal lake fine house boat speciality hai wahan ki house boats of dal lake fine 
then famous drink is kava they drink regularly k a h w a famous drink hai unki kava jisko wo kava bhi bolte hain apni local language mein famous drink hai unki kava and uh, house boats unke jo hote hain that is famous and last we likh lo paradise on earth or heaven on earth fine paradise on earth now show me your notebooks just just ne likha hai i'm just checking out of 40 students how many of you have written quick enough beta jaldi se i don't want to waste time in this only but i want to check at the same time that whether you are writing yes yes well done dushikesh divya what about others beta jaldi se only show me the notebook uh, i'm not asking you to show your face those who are uh, feeling shy or those who never switch on the videos they can show their notebook very good gagandeep स्टेटमेंट लिखी है सबने दित कीर्ति यस वेरी गुड व्हाट अबाउट अदर्स बाकी के बच्चों ने कुछ भी लिखा है दिखाइए शो मी इवन इफ यू हैव रिटन हाफ ऑफ द वर्क इज डन समथिंग यू हैव डन ना जिया मागो वेरी गुड लीजा बत्रा वेरी गुड प्राची अरोड़ा वेरी गुड बेटा व्हाट अबाउट अदर्स बाकी सब टाइम पास कर रहे हैं वहां पे सिर्फ आठ दस बच्चे नोटबुक दिखा रहे हैं मेरे को व्हाट अबाउट अदर्स क्लास में तो वी कैन चेक And what about uh, other students? Twenty-five, twenty-six students have not shown me the notebook. It means, beta, this is quite alarming for yourself, not for me. आपके लिए ही ये बुरी चीज़ है. If you are not into writing and noting down the things, so let's continue. Okay, Bhavansh, very good. Harmeet Kaur, very good. Pratiksha is also doing fine. Very good, very good. There are some students who are very particular about it. So what we can do, beta, now? Now you will speak. I will unmute you. आप बताइए इसको हम कैसे start करेंगे? I have told you how to start. So I told you that adjectives you can uh, add up like you can start with Sri Nagar with its dull lake and snow-clad mountains and uh, gardens is nothing but a paradise on this earth. So मैं आपको एक descriptive paragraph. I am just going to speak. so that you had you have an idea how to write it okay then after that you will also participate equally theek hai abhi ab maine shuru kiya you will also add on more lines based on the hints given to you so first line maine bol di hai next line kon bolne wala divya aapki hai uske next line riyanshika aapki hai uske next line harmeet kaur i'm just naming the children bar bar mujhe unmute na karna pade i will do it and you will speak Uh, fourth line then titiksha you have to give next jia mago you will give then surveen then uh, bhavansh then gagandeep singh okay jin bachcho ke maine name bolne hai abhi uh, just i have chosen jo top mein mere ko show ho rahe the student those who are actively participating and listening to teachers instructions so please aap sab ne participate karna hai apna apna ek point theek hai bana lo Now uh, I told you that Sri Nagar, with its dull, dull lake and snow-clad mountains and gardens, is nothing but a paradise on earth. This is my first line. Yeah. Now, based on the points, you have to speak. Now, turn goes to Divya. Baki ke bache apni line sochiye, and we will make one paragraph. Yes, Divya. People, people from around the world come every. Every year to see the beautiful uh, scenes of this place. Yes, boss. One line he said. That's it. Very good. So people from all around the world come to relish the scenic beauty of this heaven. Find which a good and balanced vocabulary use to use in class nine. Okay. 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 So people from all around the world visit this place to relish the beauty of this heaven on earth. अगर पैराडाइज पहले लिखा था हेवन बाद में लिख देना अगर पहली लाइन में हेवन लिखा था तो आप पैराडाइज हो डो नॉट रिपीट योर वर्ड्स यस श्रीयांशिका श्रीनगर हैज मेनी स्नो कवर्ड पीक्स इट इज अ स्टनिंग प्लेस दिस स्टनिंग प्लेस हैज स्नो क्लैड माउंटेन्स एंड मेनी ट्रेलिंग points 
many trail points trail means beta where you can go to explore on foot or your horses people carry uh, walk karke jate hain fine wahan pe there are many places if you will search uh, on net that on in srinagar fine uh, then yes any problem uh, yes okay beta so uh, fine this place is known for snow clad mountains fine after that you can also tell that uh, or this the way ryanshika has and she has used the word stunning this place has the credit to uh, stunning the beauty or depicting stunning beauty to this world so abhi humne zyada is pe nahi concentrate karna ab humne uske specialities uski attractions distance ठीक है डिस्टेंस में आपको नहीं पता होगा तो यू कैन राइट एन एन एस्टिमेट वन ओके अकॉर्डिंगली अब नेक्स्ट टर्न मैंने किसको दी थी अपने आप हैंड रेस कर लेना आपने बेटा क्योंकि देर आर सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स ना आउट ऑफ फोर्टी फोर्टी फाइव आई मीट इट इज डिफिकल्ट फॉर मी टू फाइंड दस अंशिका ने अपना हैंड रेस अपने आप कर लिया था हरमीत कौर यस हरमीत इट्स योर टर्न हरमीत के बाद जिसकी नेक्स्ट है वो अपने आप हैंड रेस करेगा Srinagar is considered the summer capital of the Indian Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir and in Kashmir Valley. So this line should be yes this is one of the factual information Harmeet has given. Clear Indian territory of Jammu and Kashmir okay. Very good next turn is Harmeet you can lower your hand. What about other students jiski turn thi aur Harmeet ke baad Pritiksha Yes. Sri Nagar is called the city of lakes, fascinating tourists from centuries with its beautiful picturesque Himalayan backdrop, glittering lakes, and are surrounded by houseboats and shikaras, as the majesty of Mughal architecture. See, uh, Tithiksha, you can uh, tell the names also directly. Like Dal Lake is there, fine, and uh, she has generalized it very good. Okay. Right, you can also specify it by telling the names also, like houseboats of Delhi. Ma'am, can we write that? Can we write that who made uh, like the lake? Who is the badsha of like see, we are see, saying? We are not into who, we are not into you know Dal Lake only. Had it been only place you visited is Dal Lake, then it will be. But we are going to talk about Sri Nagar on the whole. so there is not only one specification dal lake yes it is one of the prominent place but there are other specialties there is one temple also why there are many things if you search so we cannot go too much into details because this is one paragraph you can mute yourself tiksha so we cannot go beta too much details descriptive paragraph mein aapke 15 to 18 lines hoengi fine depending upon the marks of your question if it is for 5 to 7 marks then 15 20 lines when it is of 8 to 10 marks वैसे तो 10 का नहीं आता है बट 8 मार्क्स का आ जाए देन यू कैन हैव 20 22 लाइंस ऑफ दैट पैराग्राफ फाइन बट द थिंग इज यू नीड नॉट गो दैट मच डिटेल नहीं देनी है आपको खुद बस उसकी ब्यूटीफाई बता दिया आपने डल लेक के बारे में दैट्स ऑल नाउ नेक्स्ट टर्न किसकी थी बेटा रेज योर हैंड ओके यस जी हां Ma'am, I have written many points. May I speak them all? Yes, you can, Beta. People can visit exciting places such as Gulmarg, Sonmarg, etc. The hotels serve many facilities such as swimming pools. When you visit Dal Lake, you are able to see many people selling exciting, exciting stuff such as ice creams and surprisingly Kashmir accessories. Very good. So this is what exactly I was looking forward to. Sonmarg, Gulmarg are the places. Fine. This is the factual information. And I asked you to put about hotels. Hotels. Uh, there are why there are a lot of you know that even Kashmir, you know that these places have do not have you know much uh, into businesses and all flourished business. नहीं है वहाँ पे. Only hotel industries is at boom. That working properly. Why? Because a lot of tourist visits over there. So you can add that point. That this is the hub of hub of tourists, as millions of uh, tourists visit this place every year from all over the world, all around the world, and the hotel industry uh, is very famous as they earn a lot of money out of this because of a lot of tourists are visiting them. 
and then sonmarg gulmarg and many other places to visit where you can enjoy the uh, you can say sledging and uh, ice skating fine and playing with the ice and all that kind of scenes are quite common over there so on the whole any other point or kis bachche ki turn thi after ji i was anyone there gagandeep aapka name bhi maine liya tha raise your hand if you have written any line agar nahi kiya hai then don't raise your hand agar likha hai to yes beta yes gagan nagar is also known for traditional handicraft like kashmiri shawl yes very good shri nagar is also known for traditional kashmiri handicraft like kashmiri shawls and also dry food very good very good so gagandeep has given very good point kashmir is also known for hand crafted things like pashmina shawls and kashmiri shawls and dry fruits etc also clear yeah, so this is the speciality of the place fine then you can lower your hand now beta at nand in the dal lake there are house boats called as shikaras this place is also called city of gardens where shalimar bag and other gardens are and uh, you can say <clears throat> adding up to the natural beauty of kashmir fine uh, then after that beta on the whole uh, my visit to this place was one of the pleasant and memorable experiences of my life because aapko bola gaya tha you visited this tab aapne mention kiya otherwise nahi karna right otherwise aapne usi ko conclude kar dena tha that shrinagar is a such a wonderful place in that form mein fine is it clear beta sabko pata lag gaya how to write clear now we will do the second category point in which uh, you will write descriptive paragraph on uh, let it be simple school library chali wohi kar lete hain school library ke upar descriptive paragraph so what will you write in this firstly let me tell you uh, in this beta uh, you will just you can see the board clearly when you have in school library i am giving you hints only fine in which there is no hint is given to you no hint at all just write a descriptive paragraph on your school library you imagine your school firstly with your school library what is the name of your school library anybody kon batayega mujhe aapki library ka name kya hai if anybody has paid attention to it anybody knows dipt kirti has raised her hand very first okay yes dipt kirti ma'am guru sangat library very good fine guru sangat library before that beta you will tell a general line aap kaise start karoge uh first of all when such kind of uh, descriptive paragraph is there so you will write general sentences about this place that uh, like definition jaise hoti hai koi like a library is the place where avid readers get plethora of information and knowledge find a general sentence likhna hai ki what is this place called library is the uh you can say uh, source of information and knowledge for all of us in that way okay so simple sentence you have to write the very first thing park ke bare mein bhi aap jaise park aa jaye garden aa jaye aise in that way parks are like uh, uh, visit to parks are always uh, you can say create fresh memories in our lives or create a uh, healthy uh, you can say visits uh, Uh, part of our life in that way generally you have to write something then after that uh, in this case you write the name of the library fine guru sangat library that is name so aapko name of the library batana hai is question mein then talk about the librarian what can you tell about librarian you can tell the name 
Who's librarian of our school? Yes, tell me. Who's the librarian of our school? Bhavansh, tell me. Yes, Bhavansh, speak, brother. Ma'am, Vijay Sarangal, ma'am. This is Vijay. Vijay Sarangal, ma'am. Okay, yeah. you mute yourself. So, Mrs. Vijay is uh, our school librarian. You can tell the name of librarian. You can tell traits of librarian like qualities also. She is very polite and you can say uh, helpful, fine, in, in providing you all the resources. Then, unka, ipar zada is pe concentrate nahi karenge. Because we have to talk about library, but yes, library cannot be discussed without library. And tell the name of the library and one of the qualities. Very uh, helpful in providing resources and or guiding us. You can say a true guide, uh, guiding us in utilizing all the resources of library. Fine. Then after that, aapne, uh, you can tell about number of book. But you just note down the point. You will develop upon it. Number of books. Varied subjects, कौन कौन से subject की books हैं वहाँ पे competitions की हैं encyclopedias, thesaurus, dictionaries and picture dictionaries, then series related to all the books, e-books material sources, everything anything you can mention कि क्या क्या available है varied subjects number of books means factual information will be there basically and then after this, bus ma'am finish with this one minute. I'm going to. Then varied subjects and uh, at last, better. What you can do? Uh, we will discuss it later on. You can conclude also after this. Both are points ban jayenge. And then yes, your favorite books also you can mention. By names of authors, आपके जो favorite हैं, आपकी favorite books हैं. And just just generally conclude while telling that. About your reading habits. Okay. So I'm going to end this meet. Have a nice day, beta. And please do your homework both. Aapko this one you have to do describing the place. Okay. Please send your homework.